Okay, now we are going to the third part of ratio, which is called ratio is the chain. In the previous videos, in the first uh, in the first part, we studied the K concept and tried to solve couple of questions. In the second part, we tried to understand the shortcut to K concept. And in this third part, it is ratio in chain. What is ratio in chain? This kind of questions used to come in the earlier bank exams, but nowadays it has. Uh, it is not as important at it as it used to be but uh, it is, this is a very interesting part so now let's uh, have a look what kind of questions it, it used to be for example a used uh, this kind of information uh, will be given here a is to b is 2 is to 3 b is to c is 9 is to 11 c is to d is 11 is to 2 d is to e is 4 is to 7 21 is to 4 is e is to f f is to g is 2 is to 7 and finally the question will ask find the value of h to f now if you look here how to deal with this kind of question this is a bit tricky and very very easy so if you look into uh, this uh, kind of settings it looks like a chain how a b and when this B starts again here, B, C, and then again C starts here, C, D, D starts here again, D, E, E starts here again, E, F, and F starts here, and F, G. This is how B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F look into the zigzag motion. That's why it looks like a chain, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, it looks like a chain. So, this chain will be used to calculate this question, how A is to F is asking. Now if you look here, a bit carefully, it starts with A and F is here. A is here and F is here. F is also here but this is not important. Why you will understand now. If you look into these numbers, first one is A to B which means A is by B. A second part is B by C. And third part is C by D and fourth part is D by E and fifth part is E by F. What I mean to say, if I multiply all these five elements one after one, then what will happen? BB will cancel, CC will cancel, DD will cancel, EE will cancel and the remaining part will be A and F which is automatically A by F or A is to F which is, which is asked in the question. So this chain will be helpful to answer the question. So what is, how will you get the value of A is to F? First look A, then F, the ratio, look at the ratio which is ending at F. So here this is F, it is ending with F. This F will not be useful, here this F will only be useful. So you have to multiply these five ratios directly to find the value of A is to F. How? Let's multiply directly 2 by 3, 9 by 11, into 11 by 2, into 4 by 7, into 21 by 4. Whatever the answer will come, that's the answer. 11, 11 cancel, 3, 9 is 3, 7 is cancel, 3, 4, 4 is cancel. So this is 9 is to 1 is your answer. So 9 is to 1 is the answer to A is to F. In the same question, something else can also be asked let's have a let's create another question i may ask you b is to g what will you do to find the value of b is to g have a look where b is starting here b is starting and g the ratio look at the ratio where it is ending with g so here this is that ratio which is ending at g so I have to multiply starting from here all the ratio parts one by one and I will get B by G. So all these numbers I will have to multiply with each other. So 9 by 11 into 11 by 2 into 4 by 7 into 21 by 4 into 2 by 7 is my answer to B is to G. So now in the next part we will explain with another different scenario.